Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Now, um, I've done a little bit of stuff off camera since last time, as you can see I'm wearing a different outfit, and we also have a few more purple coins. I went back to Tostarina, found all its purple coins, and the last couple of Steam Gardens wooden co purple coins that we hadn't gotten. Uh, so I didn't get any extra power moons, I just got some purple coins, so... Nothing super important, really. Um, that's just what happened off camera. Uh, we're gonna actually do all the moons on camera, so don't worry about that. Uh, if I can get a look at the number, it still says 374, that hasn't gone up. So, nothing to worry about. Uh, anyway, so here we are in the, in, uh, the Lost Kingdom, Forgotten Isle. Last time on camera, we got every moon in the Cloud Kingdom, uh, in uh, Nimbus Arena. So this time, we're going to be getting all the A-side moons in the Lost Kingdom. We got 10 of them already? Yes, out of 25. So we're, gonna, we're trying to get 15 moons today. Uh, we're going to see how we go. Uh, we're going to start with this race over here, I reckon, since we're right here. Uh, basically, the race is climbing the whole island. So it's pretty fun. I like it. Uh, as you can see, the finish line is where the shop is at the top there. So yeah, you gotta just basically climb the whole island. It's not too tricky because the Coopers don't seem to know that rolling is the fastest way to move in this game. Even though they're supposed to be races and all that. Um, this part you can just do a little flip. There we go. You just wanna get up there nice and quick. There we go. Honestly, this is just the A-side race anyway, so it's not very hard. Uh, just go around there. And go around here. We did this already in a previous video, but oops. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, you don't want to do that. Uh, don't, like, die. That, that doesn't help. I would not recommend doing that. For some reason Mario doesn't crouch during this opening part, but he will as soon as it starts up. There we go. Um, yeah, you have plenty of time, because the Koopas are not very quick. Even this blue one here is kind of getting close, but they're still slower than we are, so nothing to worry about. You can actually uh, explode these by throwing Cappy at the... these guys with the eyes, I don't know what they are. <laughs> uh, rather than going around, but I prefer to go around. There we go. So that's the right way to do it. Then you can just wall jump your way up here, hit this button, which activates this thing, and then you just wall jump up here and you're all good. As you can see, we're still coming first, and this is the only way up, so we don't have any problems. See, there's the blue Cooper. We have plenty of time. That's not a great time overall, it should not take over a minute to get up there, but we still did okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's our first moon for this kingdom. Uh, we have 14 to go. I forget if you can look at something in this kingdom. I always forget this. I know that you can look at something in some of the kingdoms, but I never know... Oh, yep, there we go. There's a taxi. So yeah, look at the taxi, it'll throw a power moon at us for some reason. I don't know how it knew that we were looking at it. it. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. But yeah, so that's our second power moon there. Uh, it's, see it's on top of that tree, so we'll have to climb up there to get it. Not a problem. We can just make our way up, easy peasy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, okay. So that's two out of 15, so we've got another 13 moons to gather. Uh, we're going to try and get the purple coins here too, we shouldn't have too much trouble. Uh, there's a couple that are in, I think in, I think there's some in the 2D section, which we skipped earlier because it was 
impossible, but it's actually not, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, there's a caged moon over there we'll be getting, um, but not just yet. We already got that one in the other cage. The moon rock is over there, but we're saving that for the next video. Uh, over here, there is a moon inside this rock here, the one that's glowing. Uh, and we can get that by activating this fellow. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's three power moons. That's good progress. I believe we already got this one. Inside here. Yeah, we did. Uh, there's another one we can get up here. There's one of these, uh... Biologists. Cute biologist bonitors up there. So, what we want to do is get one of these wigglers over there, which is a little tricky uh, because the wiggler can't stretch all the way over to that platform. So, it looks really difficult at first, but if you know what you want to do, it's not too hard. Basically, all you got to do grab the wiggler, walk over here, stand on the lowest platform like this, and then go flip the platforms. And then, this platform's nice and close now, you can just do that. Yep, sounds like an accordion. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's two... No, that's four moons, what am I talking about? <laughs> so, good progress, four power moons. We're going for a total of 15 here, as I said earlier. So, actually we'll be getting 14 today now I think about it. Uh, there will be one left which we'll get next video. Uh, probably the easiest way to get those is just to grab a wiggler and do it that way. So yeah, the Tropical Wiggler, like, they just sort of stretch out and can extend over edges and stuff. Which makes it easy to grab these purple coins that are floating out in the void. Like that. And they make a little accordion noise because they're adorable. Uh, uh yes, yeah, another purple coin or three over there. They usually come in groups like that. Uh, I think there's... Oh, there's someone to that tree as well. And ditch the wiggler just so we can crouch again. And therefore make things a bit harder for ourselves. There we go. It's only 50 purple coins here rather than 100, because this kingdom's relatively small. Uh, we should be fine to get all of them. Uh, there's a bunny over there. I don't remember if we got the bunny already. So I'm just going to take a quick look at the at the list here. Uh, looks like we didn't. So let's go get that bunny. Or, you know, let's fall in the poison and die. That, that works too. I'm probably going to be doing that a lot, just a, just a heads up. <laughs> so yeah, the bunny, just like every other bunny in the game, you just have to touch it and it'll drop a moon. If you hit, cap hit it with Cappy, it'll slow down, which is helpful in managing to touch it. There we go. And now the moon is sort of an annoying place. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, 5 out of 14. We're making good progress. I think we already did this one. Yes, we did. Uh, I want to get these purple coins, though. So let's just make our way around here. There are some more purple coins on the underside of this thing. You can climb up these poles. It doesn't really look like you'd be able to, but you can. Make you swank your way around here and get all the coinies. There we go. Well, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, um... I believe the other propeller also has some purple coins underneath, so let's head over and do those. Uh, there is a hint art moon hidden just around here, but I didn't actually look at the hint art earlier, so we can't get it until we do that, unfortunately. So we'll have to come back for that. Uh, it's, it's from, uh, Shivaria, so we will be... Oh. Oh no, here they are. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, when, when we get to Shivaria, we'll, we'll be taking a quick trip back here to do that part. Uh, the Wiggler there. They do damage, even though they are completely friendly. They don't actually try to attack you, but if you crash into them, they do, da do, do, do a bit of damage. For which I mean, one hit worth of damage. Everything does the same amount of damage in this game. So, yeah. Uh, I believe we already got that moon. Yes, we did. Uh, this this wiggler is basically here just to get those purple coins, which we got. Gonna just grab that moon to heal up because we took a couple took a hit there. Um, let's go to the two D section. Like I said, it is possible. Uh, even though I thought it wasn't, because it's one of these vertical pipes that we can, yeah, jump out of with good timing like that. As you can see, there's some purple coins up there, although they look blue in a 2D section for some reason. So we're going to scoop those up, and we're going to grab the moon over there as well. Also, Mario looks great in this outfit in 2D, so check that out. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's six good progress being made here. We're not going backwards, so we don't get the little skid when we jump. Uh, but that's not a problem. Let's top through the pipe. So that's that one done. Uh, we already did that one on the previous visit. Uh, there's a bunch of moon shards over here that you have to collect. You're supposed to take a wiggler to do it, uh, which is probably the easiest way. I'm going to try to do it wiggler-less, which is also possible, but kind of hard with the restrictions we're working with because the platforms are tiny. Uh, one of the moon shards is in that little hole there. Uh, I'm not sure how we, well we'll be able to get in there without... Oh my goodness. I know it's possible to get in there without Cappy, without rescuing her from Klepto, uh, but it's hard. Uh, and even the way we're doing it, it's still pretty hard. Whereas doing it with a Wiggler is very easy. Uh, let's grab those two purple coins over there. And then we'll just give this another shot. So, we can just land properly. There we go. We may be able to just throw Cappy in the hole, you know, rather than actually enter it, maybe? Ooh. Okay, okay, that's proving tricky. The timing is, is very precise to get into that hole. And once you're in there, there's not really a way to get back out. So, maybe I'll use a Wiggler for that one. We'll see how we go. Uh, we can get the other Moon Shards without too much hassle, though. So let's go do that. So yeah, there's a Wiggler over here, basically, to, so you can get one if you lost your previous Wiggler. Uh, and then over here, on these tree roots here, there's another moon shard hiding. There we go. Okie doke. Uh, we can see there's some purple coins up there. I believe the only way to get over there is to use a glide on, so we'll do that later, but not just yet. Uh, there's a little hole over there you can see. Uh, I forget whether we did that moon. Let me have a quick look. We haven't done that moon, so we're going to do that now. Uh, you just get in that hole. Preferably without touching the poison. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we can probably go this way to get over there, and then just drop down. On the other side of the poison fall over here. Oop. Yeah, you can bonk against the sides of these leaves, which is kind of strange. They should be a lot softer than normal walls, but they're not. Alright, so yeah, the hole, just down here, we want to just slide down, we should be able to just go in that way, right? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, Captain Toad is in here, and you can just chat to him, and he'll give you a moon. Hi, Captain Toad. <laughs> a different giant bird than my usual one. <laughs> oh, Captain Toad. I guess it was Klepto? Because Klepto is, is the one that's in this area? And they did, that's a different giant bird from the usual one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, let's grab all these coins while we're here as well. 
I don't know why Captain Toad has a giant pile of coins here, but there's a giant pile of coins here, so we may as well enjoy them. Okay, let me see. Uh, I think if I... Oops. I was trying to long jump and then cap bounce to get to the other platform, but I just rolled off the edge instead. <laughs> oh, all good. Okay, so that last moon shot, I think we'll probably just want to use a wiggler to get in there, because that hole is very small. I'm not sure you can actually grab the... Oops. I'm getting poisoned a lot here. As you can see, I just did a triple jump. That is possible. Uh, if you use an appropriate amount of cap throws to interrupt your backflip or ground pound, not ground pound, the other thing, long jump, then you can, in fact, do every other kind of jump without too much trouble. Okay, I got the, I got the moon, moon shards. Am I going to now die, or what's going to happen? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, if you use the Wiggler, you can go into that hole, get the Moon Shard, and then get back out without any trouble. But otherwise, you have some problems. Oops. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoy me falling into poison, because that's the theme of this video. Anyway, the Moon is still here, because... Getting moon shards is saved, even if you die. Yeah! <laughs> How are we doing? How many is that? Eight? Yep, eight. Cool. Alright, so we're past halfway in terms of what we're going to be doing in this video, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Uh, we have to buy a moon. We have to use glide on. I think we want to get a wiggle up from over here as well. Actually, I'm going to try to do it without a wiggle up. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, um, the moon I'm thinking of getting next is down here. Uh, you can see it, it's just underneath the, uh, bridge here. You can see the shadow? That's a moon. So, what we want to do is just fall into the poison again. Again. <laughs> okay, um, what we want to do is basically just dive under there using an appropriate amount of cap bouncing and other techniques. Uh, I know it's possible without Cappy, uh, and my round just slipped, so let me just fix that. There we go. I know it's possible to do this completely without Cappy with just a dive. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if it can be done while permanently crouching. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Also, we'll see if I can, you know, avoid falling in poison for like a second. Because that'd be great. Uh, I would be a big fan of avoiding falling in poison. If that can happen. At all. Oh my goodness. Okay, whoop. <laughs> I might just grab a Wiggler to do that, because with the Wiggler you can just stretch out and grab the moon and not die. Um, and since I'm dying a lot, not dying sounds extra appealing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, when you bop a Tropical Wiggler, they like, unstretch. As you can see in that example. Uh, I think this one I can't actually reach anything. Yeah, I might need to grab a different Tropical Wiggler, like that one down there. Uh, basically, if they fall off a ledge, they fall straight down. Kind of like in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, and if they... And so you can't really get to a ledge that isn't at the same height. Or lower, but touching, basically. Yeah! And rubber band slipped again. I'm clearly not putting it on properly. Let me just... Actually, hang on, I won't fix that just yet. I'm just gonna do a little checkpoint warp, and then I'm gonna fix that. Oh, 
Okay, while we're here, since this is where you can buy a moon, let's buy a moon. At the buy a moon shop, which is this one. Oops. Give me a Lost Kingdom Power Moon, thanks. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> thanks, Toad. Okay, so that's ten. We're looking for four more moons now. Uh, we're gonna grab this glide on. Oop, if we can. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, this is the episode about me falling in poison. Um, I hope you enjoy me falling in poison, because that's all we're getting. Thankfully, there are a lot of coins right here that you can grab, if you happen to die in this area, to sort of replenish your supply a bit. Uh, there's also a moon just up here that you can grab, which gives you a few more coins, and also gives you full healing, but we didn't need the full healing, because we just died. Uh, anyway, so glide on here. What we're going to do is glide in that direction to get those purple coins. Um, and once we do that, you'll see Cappy is very appreciative of this little trick. See? Adorable. Anyway, we hit the slingshot here, that launches us back to the mainland, there we go. Uh, what is wrong with my rubber band? Am I putting it on wrong? I don't think so. It looks fine. Okay, there we go. Um, next, we're going to get the one in the cage. So the way you do that is you just... Basically, you want to get down here. Is the basic concept. And you give that guy a cappy. And just carefully line yourself up. That wasn't quite right. But you get the idea. Uh, a new one will spawn pretty much immediately. So you can just lure him over here. Uh, by standing up here. They walk quite slowly normally, as you can see. I believe they won't walk off ledges. Yeah, see? So I'm just gonna throw Cappy, and then... That should be the right aim? No. It's a little tricky. <laughs> so I might want to face the camera the other way. Okay. Hey, you. Get over here. Unfortunately, we have to let Cappy get caught by this thing a bunch of times to make this work. And then there's another one we'll have to do in the on the B side, which is even more annoying. Uh, there. So yeah, that breaks open the cage there, and we can just make our way over there to get the moon out. Um, it might be easiest just to climb up the normal way. I think the cage will respawn if we checkpoint warp, so I'm just going to climb up here instead. Okay, so that's 11 moons? Yeah. Okay, we're making good progress. There aren't any sub-areas in the Lost Kingdom before you open the, um... Moon rock. There are a couple on the B side, and I'm looking forward to them because they're pretty fun. Uh, but I believe there are none on the A side for whatever reason. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's 11. Uh, let me think, what's left? Uh, we won't be doing that one just yet. That's one, that'll actually be B side. Uh, there's that butterfly, which I'm a little concerned about. Uh, there's the one with the blooming flowers in the cave, which I think we haven't done yet. And there should be one more. But I can't quite remember it. Uh, I might check with Talker 2 once I've done the other two that need doing. That I can remember. Uh, how long is this period? 24 minutes. We're doing fine. Uh, although I'm a little worried about the butterfly one. We'll see how we go with that. Okay, okay. Uh, so we're gonna make our way up the mountain here. Uh, we can just... Yeah, we can, cool. 
Uh, some purple coins down here. Just two of them. There we go. I believe this gives you just a heart if you activate all of these. Yes, that was right. Uh, nice to have, but not super important, basically. Uh, this is a moon, but we I believe we already got it, so I'm just gonna, just gonna make sure. Yeah, we did. Uh... Up here, there's, that turret gives you a hint about where Captain Toad is, but uh, we already did that, so no, not a problem. Torkatu's over there, we'll be chatting with Torkatu shortly. So here, what you're supposed to do is just make all of these flowers bloom at once, basically. It's a little tricky, because you don't have much time to do it in. There we go. But not too tricky. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so there's the butterfly moon, which we'll be doing in a moment. Uh, let me see, let me see. Anything else around here? Yeah, there's a few purple coins in here, but I believe we already got them. Just want to make sure. Bop. Yeah, we already got those ones. Uh, Talkatu's here, so we can talk to Talkatu shortly. Cat Peach is here, so if you wanted a cat, Peach, then you could come to this spot to get one. Uh, Butterfly Moon is around here somewhere. I think it's this way. Yeah. So you can see that butterfly there that's glowing. What you're supposed to do is crawl up till you're close enough to the butterfly that you can throw your hat at it, like this. And then you need to throw Cappy, and if you get any closer, it's gonna leave. So... I'm a little concerned as to how we're gonna do this, because we lose a bit of distance when we... Okay, okay, cool, that was easier than I thought it'd be. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Alright, so there should be one more moon that I've forgotten about. Let's go talk to our old friend Talkatu, who is just over here, in order to get a reminder about that moon that I can't remember. Uh... Okay, that's not the one I was thinking of. I want to do that in the next video. Twist and turn up treasure. Twist and turn up treasure. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what that means, talk to. I actually need to look this one up. God. Uh, let me see here. Let me just have a look around and see if I can spot anything that looks like it might need further investigation. I guess these propeller platforms are twisting and turning. Is that what it's talking about, or...? Hmm. I can't remember this one. Wow. Uh, okay, um, rather than looking up it in a guide, because, you know, guides are silly. Nah, no, guides are fine. I'm gonna go over and talk to the Hint Toad. Uh, what hint the Hint Toad does is you can spend, I believe it's 50 coins, and the hint turret will show you the location of a moon. Oh wait, I know what Tristan Time Treasure is, never mind. <laughs> I just remember what it is. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's a moon out here. You can see that little keyhole? What you have to do is grab that key by... Well, you're supposed to get a wiggler to do it. You can do it without one, but it's really hard. And I don't know if I'm up to the challenge. Um, so I might just go grab a wiggler and do it that way. Um, and that's the last moon for this video. Uh, we're still short six purple coins. I wonder where they are. We've been pretty much everywhere. Um, hmm. Hmm. Except over near the moon rock. So maybe there's some over there? Yes, there's some. Okay. That's 47. Uh, still three more. They might be over here, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think they are over here. Uh, I'll look for them in the next video. Uh, 
we should be able to find them while we're doing all the moon rock stuff, because there's quite a bit in this kingdom. Uh, but for now, we're going to grab a Tropical Wiggler. Um, probably this one down here is still the best one to use. Just because it's the sort of, it's the right height, it's easy to get to the beginning of the level without too much trouble. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, there's still three purple coins in here somewhere. Let's also keep an eye out and see what I can spot. I don't know why Luigi's so scared of these tropical wigglers. They're not they're not evil or anything. They're quite friendly. Actually they do damage if they touch you, but that's just because they're all spiky. Like, they don't think they don't get scared of cacti. As far as I know, maybe they do. <laughs> okay, so yeah, all you gotta do is just stand over here, nab the key, and then you grab the moon. Easy peasy. Ba -da -ba, yeah! So yeah, 14 moons, there we go. I'm gonna go cash these 14 moons in, and then in the next video, we'll be doing the B-side of the Lost Kingdom. Ka-ching! Three eighty-eight. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, we'll be checking that in the next video too because I'm excited about new products. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Next time I'm gonna hopefully find the last three purple coins here, buy all the souvenirs, probably change outfit again because that'll give me a new outfit, and do all the B-side moons in this kingdom. Uh, but for now, that's it. Thanks.